Good afternoon. Again, it's Dr. Zhang's block time. Today, I would like to discuss with you all or introduce you all about the new technology called egg freezing. So, egg freezing is becoming more and more popular among the working ladies when they are not ready to become pregnant. So, I would like to discuss a little bit about the history of egg freezing and then I will discuss about the applications and the techniques and who will be suitable candidates for egg freezing and also I will talk about how many eggs we need to freeze. So as you may know, egg freezing only become well established technique about 10 years ago. And in vitro fertilization or assisted reproductive technology has been established for the last almost 40 years. And the first test tube baby was born in 1978. And we know how to freeze in sperm since the 1950s, and we know how to freeze the embryos since the 1980s. However, for a quite long period of time, we have a difficulty to freeze eggs, the so-called unfertilized eggs. Why is that? The reason for that is that egg is one of the largest cells in the mammalian bodies or in the human bodies, and they contain large amount of water. So when you try to freeze eggs, the ice crystal will form, which will kill the living cells right away. So for a long time, we couldn't figure out a way to freeze eggs. As a matter of fact, from 1978 to 1999, for the almost 20 years, only about a handful of a baby was born through egg freezing using a technique which is no longer used today. In the later 1990s and the beginning of 2000, Dr. Masa Kawayama, our colleague from Japan, who eventually discovered a new way to freeze eggs using a technique called vitrification, which revolutionized egg freezing and which allows to freeze eggs as easy as sperm as of today. So what is exactly the change in the technology? As a matter of fact, now once we figure out it, it's just very simple. So basically, a special snap freezing technique which will load on the temperature of water in an extremely microsecond. The temperature will decrease about 20,000 degree, degrees within one second. So due to the sharp, quick decrease of the temperature, so the water will not have a chance to become ice. So this way avoid damaging the cells, meaning the eggs. So this technique is called vitrification or fast freezing and practically means to change the liquid into glass. So glass is not actually crystal and that will not kill the cells. So this is basically the new way, the new technology. So since 2003, more and more live birth babies born from egg freezing. While still need to have a long learning curve to freeze egg in the perfect way, but nevertheless, the technique become more and more popular in the world. So today, the egg freezing become almost a routine. And in our center, we start to freeze the eggs since 2004. So more than 600 babies were born through this egg freezing technique. So how many eggs we need to freeze for each lady? It depends on their age. If they are less than 35 years old, should freeze at least 10 to 15 eggs. If, they are, if you are 36 to 39 years old, you should freeze 20 eggs. Uh, at least, if you are more than 40 years old, you should freeze at least 25 eggs. Because the chance each egg to give a live birth baby is getting lower and lower with the increase of age, particularly in the lady uh, once reached to 35 years old. For this reason, the best age to freeze egg will be between 25 years to 39 years old, and that's the best time to freeze eggs. As I said, the number of eggs to be frozen 
is a purely depends on the age of the ladies. And who will be the right candidate for his ex? A, due to medical reason, a lady who, let's say, are di diagnosed with a certain kind of cancer and going to start radiation therapy or chemotherapy, it may damage the egg quality. This will be the group related to free the eggs to avoid the cancer treatment uh, damage to the ovaries. Uh, and the uh, second group of the lady, which is more common, is for social economic reason. They are basically you know, very busy, not ready to have babies, but they are rich to their 30s. So this is, is a group of lady who would have to feed the eggs so they can empower themselves. So they are, it will allow them to reschedule their motherhood and for future fertility. So this is a topic about egg freezing today. Thank you.